This is my Honda Blackbird. Only it didn't always look like this. In fact, it was once involved in a bit of an accident. And lucky me spotted it for sale on eBay. So I bought it and then went about trying to fix it from my driveway with little to no tools and little to no mechanical knowledge. But with sheer will and determination and a strong desire to learn, we never gave up. And as a result, we achieved this, which you've got to admit is quite a damn good job giving my total lack of skills. However, it didn't come so easy. I spent a lot of time and money to get the bike to where it is today, which begs the question, was it worth it? Well, I will reveal all in this upload, but before I do, turns out this Honda Blackbird has actually been invited to the British Superbikes at Brands Hatch. You see, eBay was so amazed with what we achieved, they invited us long for the day. And given that eBay was ultimately what I used to get this Honda Blackbird back on the road, I absolutely had to take up this opportunity. And so, with a really early start and the Blackbird loaded up in the van, we set off on a 60 mile trip down towards Kent. Once arrived, I set about unloading the Blackbird and being on my own, I was a little bit anxious. I also really struggled unloading the Blackbird here, but with some patience and a bit of luck, we got the bike off safely. I then took a moment to get the bike looking as good as possible with a quick detailer. So the Honda Blackbird had been parked on a paddock stand next to 44 Thieves YZF 750. We've got this little blurb written up, which I've got to say, ever so proud of. Now that the bike was on the eBay stand and capturing people's attention, I took a walk down to Trackside. Walking along the paddock at Brands Hatch, as you do. I found this all very interesting and exciting and seeing so many teams working away to make this all happen, I had a couple of questions. Okay, so I'm here with Ian, the team manager for Moto Rapido, um, and I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions. And that first question would be, what are the kind of things that you check before a race meeting? What, what do you have to look through before the bikes are allowed out of circuit? Well, basically, the guys uh, will nut and bolt the whole bike. They go over the torque wrench and make sure everything's up to date. The bikes are stripped down completely between the races and then put back together. So when they turn up, they have a new brake fluid, fresh chain, the oil and fill, all that kind of stuff. The guys get a good visual representation over the bike, real close look at it, check the wiring loom, all the nuts and bolts, and again, re anything that they feel necessary, some of the major bolts swing arm, footrest, that kind of stuff. Okay, and if one of the races uh, had a, a loft, had a big accident, What's the sort of turnaround time on a, on a bike? Do you, I guess you have spare bikes ready no, to go? No, so we're not allowed a spare bike in British Superbike. So okay. we have, we're allowed as many spare parts as we like. We can build sub-assemblies. Yeah. So we can have things like a subframe with a seat unit and a GPS unit all built up together. I mean, with the boys, with a little bit of anger inside them, we can, can do an engine change if we, if we fill up an engine within an hour. Okay. So actually, um, it doesn't take too long, really. The atmosphere of BSB was just pure electric. And being my first time here, and with special access, I was just loving life. Back on the eBay stand, we then had the guys from 44 Teeth, Chris, Fagan and Boofy, go against the clock to see how quick they could replace items on their YZF 750. I then got shown around the television broadcasting station, which I now realize looks like it is operated with the buttons for the Starship Enterprise. So guys, this is crazy. I'm currently on a, a grid walk. I have access to the bikes before the race. I cannot believe I'm doing this. And uh, it's just such an insight into what's involved at the beginning of a BSB race. This is crazy, I can't believe it, man. This is just... <laughs> and this is all thanks to the Blackbird. So yeah, what a day. Would you have imagined when I picked up this Honda Blackbird that it would lead to this? No, me neither. But here I were, stood on the grid at Brands Hatch with the Blackbird on a paddock stand. 
So thank you eBay for the invite. It was an absolutely incredible day and made even better having the Honda Blackbird on display. Now, before I run you through all the costs of this build, I just want to stipulate one thing. It just simply wasn't a case of getting this Honda Blackbird back on the road for as little cost as possible. I wanted this Blackbird to ride like new and be unique. So just bear that in mind. I will also be giving this Honda Blackbird away. I've asked my Patreon members to guess the total build cost of this Honda Blackbird and the patron that is closest to the pound will be given this bike. So let me run you through all of the costs. Well, first up, we managed to purchase a crash damaged Honda Blackbird for £800 and a bonus on collection was discovering it had brand new tyres. Then the replacement engine sourced on eBay came in at £275. Again, another bonus that this engine had covered a lot less miles. We fitted completely new discs and pads for £206. I also decided to fit braided brake lines which removed the combined braking system for £120. I had the front and rear suspension serviced plus wheel bearings along with powder coating and that came in at £630. We lowered the bike for £25. A new radiator from eBay, £86. Replacement fairing due to the accident, that came to £322. A new windscreen again from eBay, only £54. Fluids and filters also on eBay, £73. And then by far the most expensive part of this build was the full respray, which came in at £1,200. Then as for the Blackwood exhaust system, which sounds mega, this was kindly gifted to me, so please check the description if you'd like to get yourself one. Then to get the bike roadworthy, so the V5 Plus MOT, that came in at £70. And finally, an assortment of other things like the battery, number plate, gaskets, etc. came to £176, giving us a total of £4,037. Well, was it all worth it? Well, obviously you can find yourself a Honda Blackbird on the second hand market for less than it cost me to rebuild this bike. However, if I wanted to just simply keep the cost as low as possible, I could have just gone ahead and replaced the engine. eBay was also superb when it came to finding replacement parts. eBay really helped me save money and keep costs down. So yeah, given how this bike now looks and how it rides, it was so worth it and please bear in mind the performance figures too this bike is capable of 180 miles per hour that is mega value for money so let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below it's been an absolutely epic journey rebuilding this bike and i've loved every single minute of it so with that said i hope to see you on another one very soon thanks for watching see you later